Good afternoon. My name is Tina Lagos, and I am here to discuss a very important topic that isn't talked about enough. The topic I would like to discuss is body shaming and the long-term effects it has on an individual's well-being. The reason why this is such a big issue is because it can physically and emotionally affect somebody and can lead to depression, anxiety, drug abuse, eating disorders, also known as ED, emotional instability, and unrealistic goals. Everyone has suffered from some form of body shaming. Celebrities such as Demi Lovato have suffered from these long-term effects. Demi Lovato has written songs about depression and anxiety as well as ED. These particular songs that have told her story would be Sober, Skyscraper, Warrior, Give Me Love, and It's Not Too Late. Not only does body shaming lead to depression, anxiety, and ED, it also leads to unrealistic goals that your mind wants to achieve, trying to become skinny enough or hourglass shaped. Body shaming can also lead to self-harm such as cutting, verbally lashing out, or even physical or emotional seclusion. Body shaming and eating disorders most time go hand in hand. ED comes in all shapes and forms, but they're all very different from one another. I'm not hungry, or I'll eat later, is a typical way of feeding your eating disorder. You look at yourself in the mirror and think you're not good enough, or you look fat in certain outfits. Also, social platforms are the biggest instigators. It's your mind and brain telling you that all those hurtful words, because you've heard them before way too often. Imagine a world where body shaming and eating disorders were uncommon. Everyone was nice enough to help boost each other up. There will be less cases of eating disorders and everyone will be happy with themselves. What if we can make this world happen? What if this world was our new goal? We have everything we need. Therapy to help people with mental disorders, positive people in our lives to help boost us up when we need it most. The last ingredient we need is you. Contact your family and friends and discuss with them about this topic. If you or your family knows anyone with mental disorders or eating disorders, please reach out and help them and urge them to get professional care. Thank you for your time and have a good rest of the day.